I welcome everyone to our Sunday evening meditation. We're so glad that you're here. I'm Juna. Sabina. And we're from Synergy in Motion. And we meet every week, uh, rain or shine, and uh, uh, Sunday evenings just to really kind of recalibrate to our own energy, um, connect with divine essence before we head into our next week. And we always have an energy forecast and the meditation that follows. Today, our theme and the theme for the week is, um, it comes from the 52nd hexagram of the I Ching, and it is all about stillness. And the symbol is mountain over mountain. And I, I just, I love that. Like just imagine a mountain over a mountain and how still is that? Just, you can feel the emanation of a mountain. It's grounded, it's still, there's space. And uh, that's what's present. Um, so the sun is really shining through this gate of the 52nd hexagram this week from June the 25th to the 30th. And it's all about stillness. And um, that's really the, the, the gift level. And on the shadow side, it can be stress. So we can also really experience um, you know, this busy got to do, got to go, got to have, got to move energy, which is really, um, it's, it's adrenalized pressure. So to give, to back up a wee little bit, we are in the quarter of form, the quarter of civilization and building. So we, we've gone through the first um, quarter of the quarter and um, it's, we've gone through a lot of throat gates where it's all about manifestation, communication. And for the next three weeks, we're in this root energy. So the down into the body, the fuel of life. So when we, when we connect to this fuel of life, this adrenalized pressure, there's a lot of pressure to do, to begin. And in this quarter of form, we've been doing and making and everything, but we're gonna take some time and really tune into the fuel, this pressure to make and build for three weeks. So we're gonna kind of build on that. And then after those three weeks, we've got another four weeks of back to the throat where we express and we manifest things. So we're tapping into this really deep sort of primal root pressure in the body to do. And this week, the theme is, is it's almost like a pressure to be still, you know? Um, it's and and to just stop and it's um i love the saying that ra uruhu says he's the founder of human design and it's temporary and self-imposed inaction for the benefit of assessment temporary and self-imposed inaction for the benefit of assessment so it's not forever it is just, you know, we, a couple weeks ago, we had another gate 12 and it's just taking a pause. So here's just another time to reassess mm -hmm. and um, where's our energy going and it's about intention. And um, we are, when you let your mind run like a wild racehorse, <laughs> that's where we have to kind of pull back and we have the gift of restraint. And we don't like to be restrained. Most of us, you know, us freedom lovers, we don't want to be restrained, but you got to restrain the mind sometimes, that runaway train, that wild racehorse of the mind that wants to, you know, push you and go, go, go. But it's in this time of this self imposed inaction for the purposes of assessment, we can really tune into that which, um, where we want to go and who we are and where we're going just our seed intention kind of reconnecting to that again before we go and do 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 because if you go and do 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 and you shoot out in all the directions uh where, what does that get you so it's just tuning into who you are to your genius to your capacities to um it, it's all about service to this gate 52 hexagram 52 is where can I be of service? And when you can really connect to that energy of being of service, um, that is like a guiding light and it can bring you into this, this peaceful stillness where there's just a little bit more ease than when you're throwing your energy everywhere. And, you know, stress is one of the main things that a lot of people complain about. It's, we live in a, 
if you live in a busy city, you're going to feel the stress of other people. And in these times, I mean, so yeah. many people are stressed. Yeah. And what, what I think is amazing is that whole little trick that when you're stressed, allow yourself to be of service. Ask yourself, whom can I actually contribute to from my mm. heart? Mm. And that doesn't mean that you go out and make a meal for somebody or something. Just love them. Just contribute to somebody else because that pops you out of that small circle of mm. the realm of the mind mm. and allows you to just go whoof, a little bit further. It can be who or what. It mm -hmm. can be you can be of service to watering a plant or just, just, <laughs> just connecting to nature. And um, it's just yeah, getting outside of yourself, outside of your your mind, your busy mind. That is go 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 and push push push. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. nice. with that, um, yeah, let's recalibrate to this energy of stillness, this mountain over mountain, mm -hmm. and um, you know set our intention for this week to really tap into this energy that is here through the sun. The mm -hmm. sun is a powerful energy. And if it's it's radiating this energy and quality of stillness and, you know, let's open up to that. Mm -hmm. Nice, wonderful. So if you wish, you can turn your camera off. And while you do that, just allow your breath to start flowing into your body a little deeper and a little longer while you allow your body to arrive in this present moment with you. And then become aware of your ears. And the sense of hearing your capacity to listen. And while you relax into this moment, start listening to the stillness. Even if there are sounds in your space, listen to the stillness between the sounds. And allow the stillness to also be present with you and your body. Allow yourself to relax into stillness.
And also allow all your other senses to relax into stillness. The sense of smell and taste. The sense of touch and movement. In your sense of sight, allow those images to come into stillness. And as stillness unfolds in your world, also allow your other senses come to stillness, particularly if you're an empath. Allow your whole antenna system perceiving the world and what's unfolding all the time, just in this moment in time, allow those senses to come to stillness, not having to perceive and receive, but just being still for this moment in time and nurturing pause. And then allow yourself to become aware of your heart. And your caring and loving.
and allow that energy to fill that space, your stillness full of love and caring. And allow your body to have a bath in this loving stillness. Allow every part of you to be nurtured, rejuvenated. Drink it in with every cell of your being and your body. Allow yourself to be loved by you. And now let's expand that space of loving stillness into your mental body, your thoughts. And you don't know how to do, if you don't know how to do that, that's okay. Just imagine that this loving stillness expands into your thoughts, the place where a lot of stress is born. And invite your mind to be still with you. Just this moment. And this moment.
allowing your mind to be space in stillness. Not having to solve anything or figure something out or judge or defend. Just allow it to be space in stillness that is full of love and caring. And then become aware that you're not alone in this space. There are many other people in this moment that are with you in that space of loving stillness. And allow yourself to be part of that energy. That web of life and light. And together, let's be aware of this beautiful planet and all the unfoldings, all the stress, the restlessness, the trying to figure it out, the race for something that nobody really knows what it is. Let's just be with those energies in that huge space of stillness, love, caring, without having to engage with it or do anything about it, just be present together, loving our planet and all her expressions. And allow yourself to also be held by others in this stillness, love, space. 
space. And then just gently become aware of your space again, of your breath, your body, all your senses. and all of them being present with stillness. And in this coming week, if you find yourself stressing out, having anxiety or facing a challenge, I invite you to take that into the space of loving stillness and be space with it. And just notice what happens with the stress. And even if you don't experience stress in your life, Visit the space of stillness in the upcoming week, just because you can. Thank you for being you. Thank you. And from the space of stillness that you've been in, ask yourself the question for this next week. Who or what can I be of service to this week? And just notice what pops. Who or what can I be of service to this week? And just notice what pops up and let that be your guide. Mm -hmm. and maybe have some fun while you do that <laughs> stillness doesn't mean seriousness that's something different <laughs> all right mm. thank you everyone for joining us tonight Hello. live so much fun lovely to see you